So this one here is um, Sporobolus creba. Um, there's also another Parramatta grass um, called Sporobolus elongatus, which is very, very similar. And they're the native um, varieties of Parramatta grass or rat's tail. Um, most people will be familiar with the um, less desirable giant Parramatta grass, but these are the native versions and they're again quite palatable and um, can be quite productive. They're really widespread across the northern tablelands and the, uh, and the northwest slopes. So um, definitely some are active. One of the less desirable features is that they actually do run to head quite quickly after um, putting on some vegetative growth, but they can be quite productive all the same. Certainly the most definitive way to um, identify Parramatta grass or rat's tail um, is, is by looking at the seed head. With the inflorescence of the Parramatta grass, it looks like it's a single stem or spike, but when you actually bend it over, there's a series of fine branches that all of the, um, the seeds are arranged on. The spikelets are quite dark black or, or an olive green, and as they mature, like this one here, it goes a, a more a lighter sort of straw colour. Vegetatively, there's that um, there's often that white midrib in the leaf and, and the back of the leaf that, um, that feels a little bit greasy to touch. 